This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Legion Aquatics. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. That was weird. Welcome back. It's that time of the day. It's that time of the week. Look no further. To start your week off just right, it's your boy Churz, the main host of Fish for Thought. Why am I better than Rapashi and Millie? Can they do that? No, didn't think so. Best host, main host. I think I broke it. You're welcome, internet. I just did the coolest trick on camera. You know what? If that didn't already cheer you up and get your Monday going better, don't worry. We can also review some fish tanks. Fish tank. You. So this video was sent to this dude who told their Tinder matchup that he keeps fish. So then she decided to show him her mom's collection. Why is this looking like a bootleg pet smart up in their house? Wow. I mean, at least there's life plans. Oh, 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 oh. Is she a breeder or what? Oh, there's a bucket going. Wow. Just amazing all things considered i can kind of understand why the water level is so low in the smaller tanks it's probably because she's had experience with the fish jumping out that's also why she put some live plants to cover the top but why at the end you see some bigger tanks and they're not even halfway filled what up with that is she just not changing the water on those and letting the water get lower and lower and lower not even doing any maintenance because i don't know what their financial situation is but i'm assuming she's either a full time mom or she's got a job and she's got at least one kid what kind of mom with a job and raising kids has time for what is that 20 30 40 tanks that is a job on its own like people get paid to maintain 40 tanks at a local fish store that was one of my jobs before and let me tell you there is no way in hell this person has enough time to maintain these tanks and they're not maintaining these tanks logic checks out at least there's some floating life plants but that's setting the bar so low imagine you are a lucky betta fish that has been chosen to be purchased from PetSmart or Petco taken home put permanently into this crappy setup alongside a whole bunch of other betta fish. It's like you never left. And now you have no chance to be purchased by someone better to treat you well. That is betta hell. Every second I'm like, it can't get worse. And then it did. It just kept going and going. Wow, I think she supports 90% of PetSmart betta sales. This is atrocious. This lady single-handedly keeping PetSmart from going bankrupt in this recessionary society we live in. I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is that it's getting more and more expensive to eat out. And interest rates are gonna feel like a cactus up my butt very soon. I feel a suicide pact is being organized. How many fish in total were there? I counted 21. Beta tubs alone. 100% of the tanks had disgusting piss-colored Water. Hey now, don't knock piss water. Some of us just have driftwood. That's right, tannins are good. There are zero pieces of driftwood in those tanks. Point taken. I love fish so much. Proceeds to show a million terrible fish setups in one room. It do be like that. The legendary fish keeping Karens. They specialize in Karening in pet store locations. Truly the bane of all betta fish, goldfish, tropical fish alike. I don't know what you guys think. Should my guy hook up with this Tinder date even though her mom seems like a fish hoarding psycho? Comment in the section. Comment your comments in the comment section below. What? Yo, my homies got me. If you want to support this channel, support what I do week to week basis, smash that like button. You're the sponsor of this video, whether you like it or not. Hey, if somehow you are so gracious of a person, you are looking for even more ways to support this channel, patreon.com. Is it actually? I don't know. Follow the link. Don't go off on your own into that good night. Follow my link for safety. Become a patron. It should be pretty affordable to most people. Get Discord access to a thousand plus fish keepers, FFT Discord, and a lot of other perks. Thank you for your consideration. Made this awesome self-sustaining ecosystem for my mom. That's a lucky mom you got there. Good thing she gave birth to you. This is very different from the the first video we saw actually who knows it could be the daughter of that mom showing her how it's done i doubt it though this is ultra wholesome and impressive it's just right up my alley it's a low boy you got the hard skate coming out of the water line it's the longest most ridiculous low boy i've ever seen though that is linear and that fits perfectly on whatever table you decide to get the lights are clean as well this is a clean scape i wonder what you got in it though better not be rainbow sharks this don't look that big some shrimp some nano fish Mwah. oh perfect I think this might have been like DIY glass as well. I've never seen such a dimension of a tank being sold. It's just super impractical, but extremely cool. Can I be your mom, bro? I promise I'll be a good mom. Make one of these for mommy. This fish tank sent in by Mary, I think from the FFT Discord. The lighting is my favorite part. Very 
atmospheric. It's kind of like the sun shining or the moon shining through the dark river and it's a section of the river, dark on all sides, but it's shining through this one like little crevice, crevasse crevice and the plants are seemingly kind of randomly planted that's how it is in nature but it's still popping with the texture and the green colors the woodscape with the rocks very on point i believe that's some buse wavy green the sand substrate really makes it ember tetra maybe judging by the size of that ember tetra if that is an ember tetra this seems like a pretty big tank as well 4.8 out of 5 keep it up man came across these on instagram co2 injection in some tanks and still Oh, that bed of fish is huge in that little vase. Vase? Why me English so bad today? That vase is beautiful and you got a nice carpet. I hope you're not injecting CO2 in that little vase because that's way too much for that bed of fish. Bed of fish are like very macro organism in that tiny little container. Substitute it with some snails, maybe a few shrimp even. If you put shrimp, you might as well give more surface area like a little branch. That is a zero out of five vase. The tank over there looks kind of overstocked. The tank right next to it. I think I see some goldfish. Overall, 0 out of 5, man. You are only as strong as your weakest link. Time to do some research. My new Ember Tetra tank. Just stocked it yesterday. Hope you guys enjoy it. Damn, is that like deep forest ruins with like a bus that crashed a millennia ago and nature's retaking it? Damn, boy. Perfect dimensions for the scape as well. The choya wood. Oh, one of the best uses of choya wood I've seen. Made it into tree trunks and there's mossy moss growing all over the place. This is a 5 out of 5 aquascape. It's just a small little detailed scape and it's just beautiful. Ryuki sent in this fish tank from Discord. Right off the bat, Ryuki. That is gorgeous. But I'm not sure what those yellow things are. Are those fallen leaves maybe using them for tannins my favorite part is that it kind of goes out of the water the branches coming down the water are pretty much roots from a tree maybe a fallen tree very reminiscent of nature the vallis area acting like eel grass or maybe even submerged reed canary grass in some invasive areas the substrate is natural looking as well there's nothing else i can ask for this except maybe like what is the stocking i don't think i was told what the stocking was if the stocking is perfect which it should be i don't see any fish and i'm pretty sure the allowance of fish in here for it not to be overstocked is pretty high. It's not a small tank from what I can see. This is a 5 out of 5. Congratulations Ryuki, keep it up. I know what I got. No low balls. Huh. You sure about that? <laughs> $250 for a 10 gallon fish tank. Okay, you got a top fin filter cartridge, which, you know, I value it at zero, maybe minus zero. It just makes it much harder to operate with. I throw that shit out. We got some inert substrate for like $5. You can find it uh, for free outside. Some mysterious little fertilizers or whatever. Some mysterious bottles here and there. What in this photo is even worth $1? Even the tank can just be $10. Petco dollar per gallon sale, easy. I know what I got. And clearly you have no, absolutely no clue what you got. $250 for what? Oh my. This is the dumbest person alive right now in this moment. I understand nothing. Zero out of five. We moving on. Rocky Mountain Fish Keeper sent this fish tank on Petscord. Wow, that is an interesting scape with that divide and then that rock, or is that wood? That wood just abruptly ends. That's kind of cool. Dark backdrop. Live plants. Love it. Some Anubias on the wood trying to get a carpet going. Background plants. That's a healthy, thick red bed of fish. Short fin as well for the win. 4.25 out of five. Keep it up. Saw this chubby monster of a goldfish in my dad's pond. Damn. How did it get so chubby compared to the rest? That's not even fair. It's a the mafia boss calling the shots here bro looks like the mouse pointer <laughs> yeah is she pregante pregnant pregnant hurt pregnant where's gregnant i need gregnant that's the my that's my favorite typo where is gregnant my firstborn will be named gregnant we'll call him greg for short and if it's a girl gregnant no difference hey ann harkison sent in their fish tank i don't see a stocking probably still cycling is that a malaysian trumpet snail oh i see a one neon tetra what's happening here where's the rest of your fish hey ann maybe it's a fish in cycle with one neon tetra not the most effective method i gotta say but i do like your choice of plants variations of java fern attached to oko stone terracotta pot with some floaters shoved in there uh you might want to take those out because they're gonna start rotting if they don't get enough light the crypto corin attachments is uh i don't know about that one because they primarily feed from their roots they can be left floating and attached to hardscape like this but it's not the best for them something to consider it's a four out of five for now keep up the great work owner refuses to change after being called out five gallon tank you would think like oh it's a five gallon they should just have the beta not the tetras and then you see two more beta 
fish. Like the neon tetras, they're not doing so hot in this tank, okay? You can't, you shouldn't be putting streamlined fish that's meant to be put in a long tank swimming about in a tall tank that's five gallons. Cory gang in the house. Didn't see that until now. Albino Cory is at least two. And there's probably more bed of fish in the back. I'm not a betting man, but I'll bet that. Zero out of five, bro. What the hell is in my aquarium? Damselfly larvae and in a mono shrimp. That might be screwed. Damselfly might try to take it down. Who knows? On the bright side is a damselfly larvae, which means you have very good water quality for it to be able to hatch and grow. But now you have the predator in your fish tank and it will grow to twice the size of your shrimp and be big enough to tackle nano fish. And when it's grown big enough, it will pull a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy. Wow, this is getting epic. Reach its final form and fly away while you hear a fading, giggling and murmuring of and thanks for all the fish. Evil, absolutely evil. Burn the tank with the water in it. Burn the water. This product is a meme. Gee, I certainly hope so. Artesian fresh fish water. If it's not a meme, bro. Two of the dumbest people on earth. The guy who thought all his stuff equals $250 earlier in this episode and people who get artesian fresh fish water or those betta waters. Y'all are getting scammed out of your butt. They are making money out of your chocolate Patrick starfish. Steer clear. Perfect. Cory gang. That is the cutest pygmy Corys on Hydrocado. Perfect picture and perfect place to end this week's video. Welcome back to the end of the video. Thank you so much for your support. Watching the video all the way till the end. Driving the algorithm. Sending this video to the stratosphere. Sphere, sphere. Have to make my own reverb sometimes. Along with the editing <laughs> reverb sometimes. Katua. What's your favorite Corydoras catfish? If you don't like Corydoras catfish, what are you doing? Like them now. Smash the like button of Corydoras catfish. But if you don't like them for real for real, what's your favorite bottom dweller? Alright? If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal act, cure my fin rod from Carisiformis to Peretrorodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Game.